Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games. As the hero of Vectera, you need your own comic book, your own cartoon, your own theme song. We have got to make this happen. Every time, every time, adoring fan, when I want to have a conversation with my viewers, you have to talk. <laughs> Oh, guys, girls, uh, welcome back to another episode. I'm doing an oral history of Constellation's most decorated members. It's just me repeating your name into a data slate for five hours. Yeah, welcome to another episode of the Adoring Fan in Starfield. Wow, this guy. Um, I've got a chrono mark. Which case is here? How cool is that? Right, so. Today's episode, we are going to be building our third iteration of our initial mining base. So ignore all the other ones, uh, for those of you that have built them. Uh, it's not that, the last one that I set up, it's not that that is not usable, it is a fine base. Um, however, after doing some research, I think I said it in the last video, after doing some research, um, I did discover a better place. Why is this better? Well, one, I've managed to find a spot with five resources all in the same spot, which is fantastic on its own. But the second thing is the conversion of local time to UT time is 57 hours and 47 minutes here, compared to, I think it's something like five hours, seven minutes or something silly like that. So it's around about 10 times better. Now the way it works, miners, that your mining units all work on UT time. So they will resource, let's say as a random number, uh, 100 units per uh, 24 UT hours, as a, an example, okay? Now here, because it's one hour local time, if you were to sleep for one hour, you're gonna get the equivalent of 57 UT hours. So that's gonna be over double the amount if it was just one hour to one hour so if i was on a, a planet or a moon that was one hour ut time one hour local time i slept for 24 hours then it's going to give me 24 hours worth of resources here i would only have to sleep well technically 30 minutes but obviously you can't do 30 minutes so the the amount of resources that you're going to gain uh, just for having a quick hour's nap is fantastic here. Uh, and obviously you're also getting your little buff from sleeping as well for 24 minutes. So where are we? Let me quickly show you. We are on here, Bessel 3B, uh, which is uh, next to Bessel 3. Um, and it's in... Uh, the Bessel system here. Okay, so that's where we're heading. Uh, as a reference, you've got Alpha Centauri, Sol. This is where we've been setting our, or where we had our base set up. It's still currently set up. I, would, I do need to demolish it. Uh, Narian. Don't get me wrong, it's a great, it is a good base. However, this one is much, much better. As far as your uh, timing, it is 10 times better. Uh, and there is. Um, bit of a, a better resource now there is one flaw with this compared to here I'm gonna say off the bat uh, and that is the fact that there is no copper in the vessel system so you will have to import it in so what I plan on doing is keeping my copper mine getting rid of everything else that I've got here and then once I've got the skills to do inter-system transfers I'll just transfer it from here to here um, rather than me finding another planet because there's nothing in the vessel system at all uh, where do we need to set up I should have probably shown you that uh, once you've done your scan and you show your resources uh, this is what you want to look for so kind of roughly on the equator so to speak I think that's equator isn't it yeah roughly on the equator of this system and a little bit down a bit you want to look for this blob here. Now I've tested this out three times and the video that I watched was exactly the same. Exactly the same spot, 
uh, and he he pretty much said exactly what I'm going to say now. Um, although he didn't say exactly what I'm going to say now. Look for this spot here. If you were to do a diagonal line from this spot here, kind of roughly, I don't know, 11 o'clock is it? But 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So roughly 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in this direction to this little aluminium spot here. It's kind of the first aluminium spot out of these four. If you draw a diagonal line here and an also a straight line upwards, 12 o'clock from this nickel blob upwards, where those intersect is kind of where you're aiming for. And essentially what it is, you've got three biomes. You've got a mountain biome, which is kind of around this area. Uh, you've got a hills biome, which is kind of around here, and then you've got a rocky desert biome. And where they all congregate, I can't click on it because obviously I'm already there, but essentially all you do is you just click, click off and on, click off and on, until you find the, the a point where they're very, very close, which is right here. Like I say, do a line there, a line here, where they intersect, it's roughly in that spot there. That is where you want to head. Like I say, it seems to be the same every single time you come here. And if I show you outside, what it You're looks like. You're looking splendid today. Doesn't look like much, but we should certainly take a look around. Okay. Uh, this is what you're going to be looking for. Excuse me, I have my cough. Let me just uh, uh, get this out of my throat. Apologies about that. Um, yeah, I've still got my chest infection. It, it is getting better. I've, I've been on the antibiotics now for the last few days, uh, but it's uh, it's not 100% cured. Right, this is what you're looking for. Um, this base seems to be here every time I've, I've landed. Uh, we'll just have a quick scan. Oops, the wrong button. Uh, F and then E. So we've got an anomaly anomaly there. So we're currently in this area. And over this direction, you've got a structure. You've got that kind of structure there. And if you notice, it's kind of like a, almost like a charcoal -y colour. A mountain range. Okay. You've got that range there. You've got this kind of uh, plateau-y mountain here. Uh, and then you can see in the distance, you've got that mountain range. What you're aiming for is you're aiming for base of this mountain right there, the base of that mountain and you can see the it changes from this kind of orangey colour I'll show you how you how you uh, find it nice and easily come out in this direction uh, what you want to do is have your um, outpost out, it just makes it a bit easier, top left hand side you can see what you can uh, what resources are in the area you then start seeing these uh, crystals coming out of the ground Keep heading downhill. We're getting bigger and bigger around the area. And you're basically just going to keep heading down in this direction. And you can kind of see in that distance there, um, you've got these weird, like, sticky up rounds almost like orangey white things all in that area okay you can see them all around there so that's one biome there then you've got this biome here and then the biome that we're on and they all kind of converge around that spot you're basically headed just here where my little white cursor is or something I don't know but anyway that's where we're headed right there so you got the base of this mountain coming down you can see the outcrops over there you got that plateau of a mountain there and where we've just come from down this hill here okay uh, this is the spot right there that you want to place and what that means here 
we just bring our um, extractors out is you can actually have five resources water aluminium cobalt iron and nickel water i'm not too fussed about right now but the aluminium cobalt iron and nickel is the one that i am interested in um, i'm going to put a list of all of the um, ingredients that you will need or components that you will need to get this initially set up um, as you can see uh, I am missing some bits and pieces but that's because I haven't demolished my other base I just wanted to come and show you where it is how you build your base I'm going to be doing exactly the same as what I did in the last one um, pretty much but I'm going to uh, make it a little bit better a little bit more efficient um, and turning it into a uh, crafting base um, but this is basically what we've got so we've got aluminium and the aluminium is over here so you can get a, a good few um, extractors here for aluminium uh, cobalt is here again you can get a good few uh, extractors on there um, you can't get all of these I mean if you shift it all the way in one direction to get the whole of one lot you're going to miss out on something else because they're kind of around the edges of this circle you've got iron here again you can get a, a nice three or four extractors there and a nickel that uh, nickel's nearly iron if i remember rightly no no it's up here sorry nickel's up here this one is the only one that has got a whole section in it um, you might be able to, if you're lucky, shuffle it around a tiny little bit to get a little bit more of one resource. But it might be at the sacrifice of something else. I don't know, but I'm happy with this. It's got more than enough because because of the sleep ratio of local to UT time. You sleep for an hour, you've got 57 hours worth of resources that are going to be generated. Um, if you've got enough storage... Uh, and I mean like 20, 30, 40 upwards storage containers, especially when you upgrade and get bigger, better ones that can hold more. Um, you could sleep for 24 hours local um, and you've you've got months, months worth of resources um, compared to everywhere else. So this is the base. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it on screen. You've already seen um, a video of me doing that my last one um, please feel free to watch how I did that last one if you wish what I will do is I will bring you back once the base is done and explain what I've done uh, but obviously I need to go away get some resources because I didn't bring them here um, I just basically just wanted to quickly show you obviously you build it how you want um, I will show you what I'm doing the plan is I'm gonna have two or three extractors of each resource apart from water for now um, I'm then going to have um, a cargo link um, somewhere in the middle. I'm going to have the ship builder platform somewhere in the middle. Um, and when I unlock it, I'm going to have the inter system cargo link so I can then bring in copper. Or I may set up an outpost on the the main planet or even just to the side of here um, where I can bring everything into and then transfer using um, just a normal cargo link but I'll, I'll think about that I haven't quite got there yet um, so yeah so cargo link um, ship builder that will be going here um, and I'm going to set up a small hub as well um, very small hub so I can put in my crafting stations essentially uh, I quite like uh, the ver variation 2 of this one uh, it's nice and um, see through I'm going to build it up off the ground a little bit as well um, something that you do need to be aware of uh, I personally haven't um, come across oh did I? I might have on my last planet, I can't remember now, but essentially there is the possibility of you being attacked, um, so defences, you know, you might want to consider that as well, uh, and basically with my storage, my, my plan for storage is I'm going to basically 
try and build some some form of wall. It's going to be quite difficult because of the slope. Uh, but we'll see see what I can. Probably not going to be able to, to be honest. But I'm going to have four lines of storage. At probably around about ten uh, storage length. And then that can just be expanded by going upwards. Uh, so that'll be quite straightforward, really. Um, so what I like to do is have two extractors down, or three extractors down, one box, connect all of those extractors up to that one box, and then that one box will then go to the particular line. So I'll have one for aluminium, one for cobalt, one for iron, and one for... What was the last resource? At uh, nickel, all four of them connected together, um, and that's pretty much it. Like I say, in the base will be my crafting stations, um, and that is where the magic's going to happen. That is where we are going to be getting a lot of exper experience points by crafting uh, aluminium frames and magnets. I think they are. I can't quite remember what they are. Um, crafting those two items which comes from those four resources uh, the aluminium frames come from aluminium and iron and the uh, magnet things comes from the nickel and cobalt and you basically just craft as much as you can and then you go and fly off to a vendor and sell it all and that's where you make your money that's my plan um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get myself all set up and I will um, bring you back once I've got the basics all done we'll do a little bit of crafting to show you how great the experience is we'll go and sell that uh, and then we'll call it an end of an episode and then the next episode I've got something exciting to show you but yeah um, give me a little minute uh, while um, I'm thinking hit the like button subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell we're very close to 500 subscribers ladies and gentlemen I am going to be doing a giveaway. It's going to be my first giveaway uh, for subscribers, and I want to make it uh, something significant. You're not going to know what it is, and you won't know what it is if you don't subscribe. So please do hit it now. Again, you don't like my video, you don't like my channel, you can always undo your actions. Give me a minute, and I'll be back. It's base ready to go. Right guys, I was going to bring you back when I was completely done, so I could then just crack on with the crafting, but I thought I'd just do it in little segments, just to kind of, um, for anyone that is brand new and hasn't got a clue of what I'm doing. So, what I've done, for now I've just, I've just placed down two extractors for each resource, and I've placed down one uh, container, storage container. So we've got those two there. And then over here, we've got these two here and a storage. We've got those two there and a storage. And then down here, we've got those two there and a storage. And I've kind of put them on the extremity so I know that I can build within that area. Again, over here, I can build within that area. So I can definitely get three, maybe four at a squeeze. This one, I can get a whole bunch in. Uh, again here, I can maybe get a third one in, uh, but two, to be honest, will probably, I mean I can get a, quite a few in here, two will most likely be uh, sufficient. Once I've done that, I then right click and press E just to connect these into here. Because obviously you only have a small amount of storage in the extractors. Uh, you don't get much more in these storage containers, but obviously once you level up uh, outposts and do some research, you can uh, get bigger containers. Those two are in there. Uh, and these... You don't actually have to press E by the looks of it as well. You can just right click and then right click. That seems to do the job. I've never done that before. I just accidentally press right and it works. seems to be fine. Uh, what I have done, because the weather was a bit um, aggy here and 
kept having alarms, go, not alarms, but this noise kept going off. So I just built a habitat. This will get moved, but I'll just put it here for now so I can just be inside out of the elements while I'm crafting. Although Surrey keeps going in and out. Right, so I've got them up. Um, that's the basics. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plunk down some power. Now, why have we got those four resources and why is it so good? Uh, let me explain something here. Solar arrays require al aluminium, beryllium and copper. So, we haven't got any beryllium here, we haven't got any copper here. Our last outpost, we had aluminium and beryllium, um, and then we had copper on another place. Fine, not a problem, because wind turbines require cobalt, aluminium and nickel, all of which is all here. Now people will probably say well you get four power from solar panels and you only get three from wind turbines it's one less but they're skinnier by a small amount <laughs> only a small amount um, but all three three resources that I require is all here so if I run out which I'm gonna run out I can only put down two at the moment I can then just sleep got a bed in here sleep for a short length of time uh, and get that nickel now here is what you would probably want to do if I'm completely honest and if I had have thought about this prior to uh, telling you um, or getting to this point here it would have made more sense I would personally unless you've got a, uh, a decent amount of uh, nickel stock uh, on you is Put down your nickel harvesters first because you're most likely going to have enough aluminium and then potentially enough cobalt or just come here with enough I mean that's kind of me waffling on a little bit but um, just try and have enough at the moment I haven't got enough to power all of these so what I will have to do is um, grab some more nickel um, I could turn off everything else um, and just have the nickel on, grab a bit of nickel, and then I can carry on, which is what I'm going to probably have to do. But what I plan on doing is all of these uh, wind turbines is I'm going to plonk them next to each other like this. Okay, we run out of nickel, not a problem. Uh, we can go to tab, and then anything that isn't a uh, nickel, so this is aluminium. Uh, we can turn off. I'm going to run around, I'm going to turn them off, I'm going to grab some nickel uh, and then I'm going to continue putting some more solar panels, uh, some wind turbines down so I've got enough power at the moment. I've got six, I require 40. Uh, I'm then going to place down the landing pads and decide if I'm going to keep this here or move it. That's all I'm going to have. I'm not going to have anything fancy here. This isn't going to be my main home base. This is going to be my main um, hub for the initial crafting. Um, and then we'll look at putting the storage down. And I'm thinking actually I might put the storage units down here um, before it starts getting too steep. Uh, anyway, as I sort of quickly come back, show you how I've uh, done this initial bit of the setup. Uh, in hindsight, I would have had uh, two nickel down and grabbed some nickel first, but I didn't realise I only had. A small amount of nickel on me. So, back in a second. In fact, right there, right there, peeps. Wait one minute. I can build a million solar arrays here. Rather than faffing around doing what I was going to do, because I've got all this beryllium, aluminium, and copper that I took from my last base, because I went back and demolished my uh, previous base. Um, I've got all these resources. I don't need to de demolish anything. So, uh, sorry about that. Let me get these whacked down. I've just got enough power so everything's working. I need to adjust the um, movement on this. Um, something. Bothered about neatness. Just want 
get enough power down, so is it going to work? down um, everything's going to be working now so I'm going to be all the resources are going to start coming in so all I need to do now is basically plonk down my um, extra storage bits and pieces and um, put down my landing pads so yeah catch you in a bit alrighty guys buttons there um right we're back and what i have done is inside here we've got a um, research lab which i'll be using at some point uh, we've got an, an industrial workbench i've got a crew station down here never used these before not quite sure how they are uh, how they work but i just put one down there here's my little cot uh, there's very different beds you can put down they all do the same thing um Oh, Grand Prix starting. I need to get this done as quickly as possible because um, I am an F1 fan and it's literally about to start. Uh, where's my controller? My TV controller somewhere. Uh, right, I'll find that in a second. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I put that. So let me just quickly show you what we've done outside. Uh, we want to go uh, F, R, B. Come outside. So you've already seen all the extractors. Uh, I've got a um, landing pad, not landing pad, a uh, thingy here. Words, words, Roxy cargo link. Uh, I've also put down this here. It's like a transfer thing, from so you can transfer back and forth from your ship without having to get off your ship. And I've put the start of my storage is here. Um, they're kind of odd like this so I could just basically get a gap because trying to put stuff down you, you try and click onto them um, snap onto them so you have to kind of offset them a little bit but basically I'm gonna have four rows of ten um, on each one I couldn't put any more down because I actually ran out of um, I ran out of adaptive frames and that's what we're going to be making is adaptive frames um, for our XP. So I thought I might as well bring you back and quickly show you this. So we've got our storages here. Once I've got all of the, the, the base row of 10 down, um, I will then interlink them all together, connect the single one to one edge, and then obviously they will all flow to the opposite edge. I don't need to connect this edge to somewhere else because all the resources will be staying here. Uh, unless I find, if I build another outpost and I require something somewhere else, um, I may uh, make a little uh, extra setup there. But other than that, the only thing I need to put down here now is um, more power eventually and some defenses. But the landing pad, again, I need some adaptive frames. So I need a whole bunch of adaptive frames to be able to plug this down. Uh, the plan is I'm going to have this facing this direction. So essentially, when I spawn in here, I'll spawn in by the um, the marker uh, outpost thing. Uh, that's where you, you spawn in uh, when you land, uh, rather than actually landing on your ship and getting out of your ship, which doesn't make sense but either way that's where you spawn um, when you come to the marker um, and then it's all in the same spot then uh, or all close to each other so adaptive frames we're going to come to here we're going to press E adaptive frames make sure you've got your XP as well for your XP boost um, Gonna click 99 and press E to confirm. Nice work. What else are you going to make? 108 experience points. As you can see, top left hand, uh, top right hand corner, you can see how much iron and aluminium we've got. 
and the other one is the magnets here. Uh, obviously the cobalt and nickel is um, not that high at the moment because the reason why I've got so much iron and aluminium is for the last base. But this is slowly building up. Um, and building one of these, well, I'm not supposed to build 99 of these, so you can see the difference. I can only build, build 44. We can also build a whole bunch of this reactive gorge. I'm not sure what this does. Obviously, it'll be used for something. Uh, zero wire, something that you may require. Uh, copper and silver, which we don't have any of, but I had it in the last place. So, going back to this, this is all you do. You just click E. Click, click, E. Or you can do E, click, E. Whichever. But once you master this, you can go quite quickly. And this is giving you a whole bunch of XP and a level. Ta -da! Level 9. Um, so we can put those points, and we want to work our way down to this outpost engineering. Uh, already unlocked that one, unlocked that one, I need to level them up, uh, we might as well do until I get them leveled up, it's not going to do any harm to have a point like that, and it's not going to do any harm to have a point like that, but then that will then unlock this roll, um, and we can put some points in there, until we level these up. So there we go, there's our level, uh, then obviously all of the stuff, I mean we've got a massive mass at the moment, um, but I can go and sell those adaptive frames uh, and make some dollar. Uh, ah! Ah! I can't take much more of this! Didn't mean to do that, oopsie, sorry. Um, I meant to press F. V. We can now get this plonked down. Uh, oops. Get this plonked down over here. Rotate. Actually, thinking about it, I said about you spawning in on the marker. I wonder if you actually do or don't. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, peeps. I'm saying that you, that's what happened, but I could be wrong. We'll test it out at some point. Right, I'm going to plunk you down there. That's going to be our landing pad now. Um, and then all I need to do is just continue with my story, which I'll uh, do separately. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, pretty much our base um, ready to go. Let me just come off that. So all I need to do now is connect the single ones up once I've got all of these um, long ones. Um, sleep for an hour, make a load of adaptive frames and magnets, sleep for an hour, make a load of adaptive frames and magnets and just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until I'm bored. And then jump on my spaceship very, very slowly because obviously you're going to be over encumbered. Uh, fly to a planet of your choice to go and sell said items and then rinse and repeat and that is how you are going to level up really really quickly and make a lot of money I'm obviously not going to sit here and just do that and max out just by doing this I'm going to be questing I'm going to be doing missions and all that sort of bits and pieces and space combat but um, I'm going to use this on the side so as an example F1's on now I can sit here and do a bit of crafting while the F1's on um, and enjoy that so thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed it um, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And Milo is snoring in the background. Stay safe everyone, I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.